All right, here we go, working through another problem. So in this case, we are looking at a case study of finding the directory size. Okay, the preceding examples can be easily solved without using recursion. This section presents a problem that is difficult to solve without using recursion. The problem is to find the size of a directory. The size of a directory is the sum of the sizes of all the all files in the directory. A directory D may contain subdirectories. Suppose a directory contains files f1, f2, fm, and subdirectories d1, d2, dn. Okay, the size of the directory can be defined recursively as follows. All right, we have the size, and it's defined by these subdirectories. All right, and the file class introduced in section 12.10 can be used to represent a file or a directory and obtain the properties for files and directories. Two methods in the file class are useful for this problem. So we have the length, which returns the size of the file, list of files, method returns the array of file objects under the directory. So we have this example here, right? And we have our class directory size, and then we need to find the directory size. So here we have get size. All right, so the goal of this is to get the size of the directory file. So store the total size of all files. If file dot is directory, then we have file array equals file dot list of files, all files and subdirectories. So the trick here is to add the recursive call. So we need to add a recursive call here. So that would be get size file in the base case. So what is the base case? So the length method returns the size of the file. So if the file is a directory, then we want to continue going down and traversing the, the, the files. However, if the base case um, base case here is if the file is not a directory so if the file is not a directory what do we return here so get size file okay base case Okay, so in this case we have the directory size and then we have a scanner which reads the file in here. Okay, and then uh, this is going to get the size of the file. So we want to store the total size of files. We're going to initialize size to be zero. And then if file is a directory, uh, then we are going to go down here and we're going to get the list of files. And then if the um, for each of the files in this directory, we're going to check and make sure that the file is not null and that i is less than the file's dot length. And then we're going to set the recursive call. So size plus equals get size files and i. So each time that we call get size, it's going to take the file here. And for each file in the directory, it will get the size of the file. It will recursively recur on itself. <laughs> And then for the base case here, we're going to check to see what the size of the file is. This means that we've gone through the entire process of finding the files, and this last step here just updates the size to the file.length. That's where this tip comes in here. We want to get the length of the file that's returned, right? And so that will give us the file. Okay, cool.